Welcome, Welcome back, back Camly. Camly. We woke up this morning and our daughter is on full energy. She must have gotten a good night's sleep because <laughs> she's just crazy this morning. Get her. Yeah? Was that a step I just saw? Are you taking steps? <laughs> she's so happy that you're holding her. And then she realizes I have too much energy for this. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, don't mind the state of our house right now. This is called We're Packing to Move. We have a toddler, and her playroom is in the living room. That's what this look is. She had a lot of toys on the floor. <laughs> this kitchen was a great idea as far as the fact that Colette loves it, but to go in our living room. <laughs> it hurts to step on the toys. <laughs> yeah, there's like these little plastic food toys everywhere. I knew that would end up happening. Also, check out this mountain that has become our diner table. Anyways, we're gonna be feeding this little bean breakfast. What you want for breakfast, huh? She's gonna have some bananas and cream. Ah, bananas uh, oatmeal. Oatmeal? You love oatmeal. <laughs> okay, someone's excited. While we wait for Dada to cook your oatmeal, let's uh, snack on some fake food. Mmm, yummy lettuce. The favorite is the um, ice cream cone right behind me. Ice cream cone? I don't know why, but she's always got it. Oh. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yummy. You want some ice cream for that cone? Whoa, it's an ice cream cone now. Mmm. <laughs> Oh. You broke it. She loves to just throw stuff. Colette just recently learned how to play catch with us, and it's one of her favorite things ever. <laughs> Toss it to your walker. Okay, here you go, Colette. Thank you. You're getting good at it. Toss it to Mama. Oh, thank you. Toss it to Dada? I'll toss it to Mama. I'll toss it to you, Dada. Alright, now Colette. <laughs> Thank you. Get pretty good at this thing, Colette. Oh, try again. There you go. Toss it to Mama. There you go. You're so smart. How is she so smart? Thank you. <laughs> You're gonna be an athlete. <laughs> She's definitely gonna be very athletic, unlike her mama. Landon was pretty athletic in high school. He did wrestling. I did. <laughs> I wasn't athletic at all. But looks like we have a little athlete on our hands. She's throwing the ball across the room and chasing him. <laughs> there she goes after the ball. All right, Colette, you're to eat. <laughs> She's so excited. Mm, you haven't really had the banana. You like the banana? Yeah. <laughs> She's so cute when she eats. She makes cute noises. She normally does a happy food dance where she swings her arms around. Oh uh, yeah. She's just recently started to learn how to like dance. And it's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I'll do my best impression. Uh oh, here she comes. <laughs> oh, no. Here's how Colette dances. Woohoo! Yeah, she does that. <laughs> it's a lot cuter when she does it. It's still cute when you do it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what? You have to finish your food. Copy hands? Okay. Oh. Ah! Oh my goodness. That's why we don't eat standing up, Colette. Oh. How was your breakfast? Your oatmeal, was it good? It was she devoured it in like probably a minute. <laughs> so guys, she is getting really close to walking. <laughs> she just pulls her hair all the way down. Hi. Uh, she's, she's taking steps. She just took one. Come on, Colette, take another step. Come to the camera. 
Oh, oh, there's one, but kind of fell on the way down. She'll take like two steps. This is the most she's ever taken by herself. But she'll walk like along here, holding onto the table all the time. And she's getting so close. Lannon says she's going to walk before we move, which is in less than two weeks. And I say she's going to walk for the first time in the new house. So after we move. It's a slow process. And she's kind of being really shy about it. Uh, was that a step? Yep, there's another one. She's, she's only doing two steps at a time. Yeah, no, she's never done more than two. But she does too, like all the time. You're getting so close. She wants to so bad, you can tell. When she falls, she gets really frustrated. There's one step. You got it. You're almost there. One step. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be able to do it soon. See, like she gets so mad at herself. She's like, why can't I walk? So let me kind of give you a rundown on what the whole moving process is looking like so far and our plans for the next two weeks because in two weeks time we will be in our new house. So far we have two boxes packed and that's not a lot. So we're going to be needing to go full force on this packing thing. Today we are going to be tackling more of the bedroom. We already did the storage closet in the bedroom but now we're going to be doing above all of our clothes in the other closet because there's just a lot of blankets and random stuff. There's also some stuff under the bed and Colette's toy chest will probably pack up because there's a lot of toys that she just doesn't use every day. Most of the toys that she uses on a regular basis are in this room. Like I said, our living room has kind of become her playroom. So yeah, all the toys she doesn't use, all the blankets and everything like that. I also want to try and tackle underneath the sink in our bathroom because there's just a lot of things that we just don't use a whole lot under there. Obviously, there are certain things that we can't pack until later because we're gonna need them over the next few weeks. So towards the end of next week, we're gonna be doing all of our clothes, all the pantry stuff, and just the last little things that we need to pack. So on Friday, March 29th, Landon's dad is going to be driving down from Dallas, Texas to come help us move. He has a truck and we need a truck to be able to pull the moving trailer. So he'll come down and help us with that. On the next day, Saturday, we're gonna go to U-Haul, get our trailer, load it up and then on sunday we will be moving that's moving day we'll be driving from destin to austin a whole 10 hours with colette landon's dad will obviously be taking his truck along with the trailer and we'll just be taking our car and then april 1st will be our first day in our new house and we'll start unpacking and we need to get a fridge and a washer and dryer because it doesn't come with the place. We need to get a car registered in Texas. There's just a lot of things you have to do that you don't think about when it comes to moving to another state. So yeah, that is kind of the game plan. We've barely started and I'm already so done <laughs> with moving. I just wish we could be in our new house already and have all our stuff just magically everywhere we want it, all organized. But life doesn't work like that and we're just gonna have to do it. Not sponsored by Nike or anything. <laughs> that was so cheesy. Anyways, we're just gonna do it. Let's get to it. You gonna be a good girl while we pack? Yeah, you better. No, yes you are. Yes you are. First box done for the day. This is, I told Landon to write Christmas storage because a lot of this is just holiday 
stuff for next year. But he drew a little Santa hat. Christmas storage, I guess it works. Now I'm gonna load this box up with bathroom stuff. I don't even know how I'm gonna fit this box into this little bathroom, but we'll see. Colette just went down for a nap, so we're gonna take full advantage of that fact and try and pack as much as we can. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's get rolling. That's about as much as we can pack today because that was our last box. And look who's awake just in time, sleepy girl. <laughs> we got quite a bit done, I'm pretty proud of us. And of course, Landon had to make a box tower. Anyways, now I am headed to get my nails fixed. As you can see, this little guy is slacking. And I actually think I'm gonna get them removed today. I do the dip powder, which is like a step down from acrylic. So it's acrylic, but it's not. But I think I'm just gonna go back to all natural because it's a lot to keep up with and they chip and it's annoying. And after they grow out for so long, it starts to like lift at the bottom. Also, it's expensive. So I'm just gonna go back to all natural and I'll probably just get like a polish on my natural nail. All right, I'm all done. Here's how they're looking. I ended up getting some cute pink polish. <laughs> I haven't had like just my real nail in seven to eight months-ish. It feels really weird, I'm not used to it. But I had a really good time just sitting and relaxing and not having to worry about a screaming baby. <laughs> But I do miss my beanie and my landy, so I'm gonna head back now. Hi! I missed you! <laughs> Did you have fun with Dad Dad while I was going? Do you wanna see my nails? Every time I get my nails done a different color, she's always like, Ooh, new color, Mom! Look at it! Pink! Matches your shirt. You can touch. <laughs> They're pink. Can you say pink? One day you're gonna do your nails. I'm gonna take you to the nail salon. Mm. <laughs> no, you don't eat them. You don't eat them. I missed you. She likes your nails. Do you like my nails? I like your nails. Anyways. <laughs> anyways, now we are headed out for Din Din. <laughs> my sister, Colette's aunt, is going to be moving to Austin with us, but not until this summer. So we're going to go get dinner with her because for the next, like, ooh, three <clears throat> months or so, we're going to be apart from her, and she's not going to be able to see Colette grow. So we're going to try and get as much time with her as possible before we move. That's what we're doing tonight. We're going to have dinner with them. Sounds great. Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> okay. But I'm going to start getting ready. All right. Love you. Love you. <laughs> She's so annoyed. She's like, go away. You're <laughs> annoying. Ooh, look at you. I just put mascara on. It's not much. But Colette has a new dress on. You show them. Better enjoy that passy because you're not going to have it for very much longer. And I know that we say that like every day, but we mean it today. So enjoy it. Enjoy it while we're at dinner. All right, let's go. Get that foot in there. <laughs> uh. 
we are headed to an Italian restaurant that I don't know how to pronounce. This lighting though, golden hour. Anyways, we're gonna meet my sister at an Italian restaurant and I'm gonna have all of the breadsticks. No one on the table can have any breadsticks except for Cameron. Actually, Colette's stealing the breadsticks. Yeah, Colette loves bread. She'll have, we can share. I mean, Colette will share them. Just kidding. I love you, I'll share with you. Okay, sounds good. I'm too hungry for this. <laughs> yeah, we're so hungry. I don't even think we ate lunch today. We just kind of skipped it. So yeah, needless to say, we're all hungry except for Colette because she had SpaghettiOs. But she'll have lots of breadsticks. So will I. Hmm. I have nothing else to say in this clip, but this lighting is so good and I'm just going to keep filming because this lighting though. Uh, it went away. Oh well, the lighting's gone. Goodbye guys. How do you say it? Carbabas. What is it? Carabas. Right? Carabas? Something like that. This place is really busy. It's a Friday night. No, it's not. It's a Tuesday night. <laughs> Smart thinking, Cam. That'll work. Cuties. Cheese. Say cheese. Ew. We're in the street. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a 15 minute wait. Should have known with how full the parking lot was. But honestly, that's not the worst thing in the world because the Addies aren't even here yet. So we'll just wait. We'll sit here patiently. Colette's pretty mad about it. I'm trying to tell her to chill. It's okay, it's just a wait. But she's getting really angry with me. It's okay, Colette. Don't need to be a drama queen about it. Drama queen. <laughs> <laughs> come, come, come. Cute dress. <laughs> Our baby has been stolen. <laughs> Not even mad at it. I need a break. <laughs> Just saying. She's crazy. You can have her. Now we're talking. Yes. We're headed back home. Dinner was delish. Italian food will always have my heart. Colette caused a, oh, the passy. <laughs> Colette caused some trouble during dinner, but that's just typical what to expect when eating dinner with a toddler. She was good for the most part. You're a good girl. Yeah, she was good. Uh, just the normal screaming and yelling and throwing a fit, but you know. So yeah, we are headed home now. And Colette has no idea what's about to happen when we get home. If I were you, Colette, I'd be scared. We made it back home and the time has come. We are officially snipping Colette's passies. She's one now and we've been procrastinating it for a while because she turned one like a month ago. She's not happy about this. <laughs> passies are something that is very helpful in our lives and has been since she was born. She's always loved her passies, but it's not great for her teeth and there's a number of reasons why. We just have to take it away. It's a sad day for us, because this means that she's a big girl without a passy. I know. <laughs> her crying is just making this even harder for us. But we just got a, this one is her favorite ever. It's her uh, little elephant, and that's one we're gonna be cutting today. She also has this one, but she's had this since she was born, and we have all of her baby pictures from when she was a newborn with this. So we wanna keep it just so when she's older, we can show her like in comparison to the pictures and actually have this to be like, this is how big it was. So this one is gonna be going in the memory box. It's gonna take a lot of willpower to not pull this out when we need it, but I think we could do it. <laughs> it's time. I'm sorry.
There's no more. It's just a uh, elephant now. You can have your elephant. We're gonna put her to bed with it because it's still like a stuffed animal that she loves and takes with her everywhere. All right, you ready for bed? First night without your passy. I think you can do it. You're a big girl. <laughs> She's not happy about this at all. R.I.P. That was tough. You can still kind of hear her crying in the background. She's just gonna have to do without it though. It was time. I feel so bad. But it'll just get easier and easier from here. It was just day one without her passy. What a sad day. No more passy. No more webbing ups. <laughs> Literally, like every day, I'll look at her and she'll like go around the house and collect all her webbing ups. Have one in her mouth and then one in each hand. Hold all her weapon up. <laughs> she loves them. It's sad. She's definitely very emotionally attached to them. Which is why, obviously, we're going to leave the stuffed animal part for her. But still. Honestly, we should have done this a while ago. And with our next kid, we're probably going to take the path away a lot earlier. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video, Kimberly. Mm -hmm.